Hello creative people! Is it possible to make a decent watercolor painting also on cellulose paper? Instead of using cotton paper, today we are gonna use this cellulose or pulp paper that I received to try for my upcoming workshop. It is just one of this unknown standard 300 GSM watercolor paper that you can buy on Amazon. My name is Luigi, I'm a physicist and self-taught artist known on social media as Illustrazione di Lut and today we are gonna paint this tiger on pulp paper. To paint on this kind of paper I'm gonna use some precautions like not using too much water and just a few layers, two or three maximum. Because pulp paper is a very delicate paper that cannot hold too much water. It's fragile enough to get damaged by too many brush strokes. The materials I'm gonna use will be this palette of Wine Nights watercolor here. The colors I'm gonna use will be Lemon, Golden Deep, Rose Sienna, Paints Grey, Red Brown Imatite and Turquoise Blue. In terms of brushes I'll be using my Renaissance brushes here, flat ones for the background and these ones for the main painting. I start wetting the paper in the areas that I want to make some shades for the first layer of the tiger. Although this kind of paper was a bit robust, I try to be as gentle as possible in all the phases with the brush. I try to mix orange and lemon to make the first layer of the tiger fur. The color matching the head for the first layer is raw sienna. I'm using the reference from unsplash.com that I put in the description below. I add red brown hematite for the darker areas like the mouth of the tiger and also for the areas that I want to make granulating. To make some special effects on the fur I will be using indeed more water and maybe also some salt and granulate watercolors. I keep as always my palette as limited as possible and I use the same colors for the eyes of the tiger. After the first layer is done, I switch from the natural to the synthetic brush. A synthetic brush allows me to make more details, such as the ears of the tiger with paints grey, as well as the pupils in the eyes and the spots in the skin. correct details such as the left eye, I used my brush with clean water, I wait it to dry completely and then I can add more details. So this is the first layer after detailing with paints grey, I waited for it to dry completely and then I will add the second layer with granulation. 
Wetting the paper after first layer on cellulose paper is a very delicate process. You need to be very delicate now because if you push too much with the brush, you, the risk of lifting the color is very high. I add now some more red-brown hematite to make it granulate on the nose, on the face and on the left shoulder of the tiger. You see that lifting is possible, but remember always to be very kind because you can deteriorate the paper. Now adding some salt to make special effect on the fur of the tiger. It's time for final details. With my synthetic brush and paint spray, I try to enhance some contrast here and there. If you want to be more realistic, you can wet part of the stripes with clean water to get a soft diffusion of the color. The hyrid inside the eye can get a bit more dirty with some brown sienna around the corners. Time to erase the pencil marks and get ready for the background. I wet the paper first, all around the tiger, without overlaying it. As for color, I chose turquoise blue because I thought it was matching well with the rest of the colors in the painting and is a cold color, so it's making some balance with the very warm tones. In order to avoid hard edges, remember to wet the paper far away from the point you want to stop with your brush. Add some special effect with water drops and splashes here and there. Removing the tape I realized how delicate this paper is and so I decided to use my air dryer, slightly remove the tape after it gets warm and the glue will be melted. This is the way to remove tape without damaging the paper. It's time to add your signature because the tiger painting on pulp paper is done. So you see that you don't need expensive paper to make a decent painting. Tag me on Instagram and show me your tiger on pulp paper. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help me to show it to more art enthusiasts. And I see you in the next one. Bye!